Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In this video, we would continue our use case and implementation on Google Vertex AI from our last week episode. So just to recap, in an earlier video, we talked about Google Vertex AI and went through a use case on how AI can transform fashion retail. In this week's episode, I'll demonstrate how we can realize the image categorization use case from our earlier episode using Vertex AI. This video is broken down into three series. Getting started and data capture with Vertex AI, training the model and looking at the results, and last being deploying and testing out the model. So let's get started. To start with, log into the Google Cloud Console and head towards the Vertex AI dashboard from the menu option. The following shows the dashboard for Vertex AI. The first step is to prepare your training data for your AI solution. Usually, you would have a data pipeline for capturing your data and pre-processing it into a format that can be trained. For instance, uh, for our AI solution for dress uh, categorization, we would source around 200 images for each category. Now the image resolution and sizes would be different for these images. So as part of pre-processing, you would get all the images into a standard size and resolution. Take another example where you want to extract sentiments using natural language processing from various unstructured public content. So you would use some crawler to crawl the documents from various public sources and there can be various document types from PDFs to Word documents and within PDFs also you would have various formats like table, paragraphs and so on. So you would need to build a pre-processing pipeline to pass and extract the relevant information and get into a format, probably sentences that can be fed into the model for training. So coming back to our retail AI use case, I have already done the pre-processing and I have five category of dresses that I plan to upload. To start with, click the create data set and you would see various options to select data type and its objective. For our AI retail use case, we would go with multi-image classification as we have multiple categories for our dresses and we would like to detect one of the category as an output. There are other features for image classification like uh, object detection, for instance, identifying objects of interest within an image. The second data type is a tabular data where you pre-process the data and make it available into tables, basically rows and columns format. The column header defines the features for your model and row are the observations. So with this data type and format, you can create regression classification or forecasting model based on your data. For instance, stock price or index forecasting for intraday trading. The next data type is textual data. It basically falls into the natural language processing domain and you have options for single or multi-text classification, extracting terms from textual content like a fashion terminology, like various dress types, types of shoes, and so on and your user can type in a natural language query like find me three inch sandals and the relevant fashion terms can be extracted. You can also detect sentiments positive, negative, neutral based on content from social media. In this scenario you would basically build a data pipeline that I talked about earlier to extract the relevant unstructured text, label it and use it for training. The next data point is on video, which is used to recognize objects and action items in a video, track objects and timelines, or clarifying the frames in a video. For instance, you can use this capability for various use cases like video surveillance, for environment and wildlife tracking, or detecting unknown events in an ATM, like a person wearing a helmet and withdrawing money. So let's go back to our AI use case. Let's upload our data set. Click on image and click create image classification multi-label and click create. For the import method, click upload images from the computer and select the file. So I have around 300 images for each category and I plan to use 200 images for each dress category 
So I start off with the first category. Next, you need to create a Google Cloud bucket to store the pre-processed images. So go ahead and create a Google Cloud bucket. Click done and the import process will start. So this will take some time based on your image sizes and you would get a notification via email once the upload is complete. Once uploaded, let's create a label called maxi dress and tag all the unlabeled maxi dress images to this label as shown. In this way, we have tagged the label to our images. Similarly, I'll upload rest of the images for all the categories. The final data set looks like the following, consisting of five labels for the five dress category and 200 images associated with each label. So this completes our data set process and making the data available for training. In next week's episode, we'll go a step further and build and train the model. I hope you found this information useful and gave you enough insights on how to build the data set in Vertex AI for your model training. Please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and happy learning.